You know that, right? Tithing is not money. You give your money, don't you? Faithfully, right? Because you want to be blessed. Uh, hold that. Give me uh, uh, Revelations 1 and 3. Because how do you be blessed? How, how, how are you blessed? How do you know if you're blessed? Things that happen in life. And now it's, it's simpler than that, sis. We're going to read out of the Bible. Again, I'm not like the pastors. We're not like the pastors. We're not up here standing up here just reading and talking, talking to you, not reading out of the Bible. Right. We're going to let the Bible speak, and we're going to give you the sense as to what the Bible says. That's right. That's right. But it's very plain and simple that the, there's no private interpretation. The Bible says exactly what it means. That's right. Christ is a black man, right? right. You know now, right? You know where to find it? Open that flyer up. It's going to show you right at the top. Open it up to the middle. It's going to have his image in there. And you're going to see underneath that, that that's where you find it. Why am I showing you that? Because you're going to go back to church, and if you start following us, you're going to see a lot of contradictions in what your pastor is teaching that's right. and what's actually in the Bible. That's, right. that's why we're reading this to you. And I asked you, how, do you, how are you blessed? How do you know? I told you something simpler than that. We're going to read out of the Bible and find out. Read. Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. No. Blessed. Is he that readeth? Blessed is he what? That do what, sis? Read. Black people do not know how to read. We do not like to read. We want somebody to interpret the Bible for themselves. They're not interpreting it for us. Read. Revelation chapter 22, verse 14. Blessed are they. That do his commandments. Uh -huh. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. Uh -huh. Blessed is he that readeth. Read. And they that hear uh -huh. the words of this prophecy. You hear that? Is that all on that? Read. And keep those things which are written therein. So we just learned that if you read the Bible and you keep the things that are in, what's in this Bible, sis? Who was it given to? What's in it and who was it given to? No. We just talked about that. We talked about his laws, right. his commandments, and he gave it, he gave it to the Israelites. That's so right. the topic was, how do we know if we bless or how can we be blessed? Right? So now read that again all the way through. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3. You know, no. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, uh -huh. for the time is at hand. Because the time is, the end is near, sis, the word, the sky is about to crack, and Christ is about to return. Right. Everybody in your congregation that go kumbaya, they hold hands, they go out in the street and pray for everybody, they're not going to get the kingdom of heaven. Right. Because it's something that you have to be doing. Bring it up. What is that, sis? Because I know you got to go, but I need you to make sure you tell, what is that that we have to do? And follow it, James 1, 22. Because that's, again, when you're following it, it's a what? Action, right? Again, throughout the Bible, God, God is talking to the Israelites. He's punishing us because we don't keep his commandments. That's right, right. And the biggest thing is because we don't even do it. Right. It's even in there. Read that. James chapter 1, verse 22. Uh -huh. But be ye doers of the word. Right. It said, be ye doers. If you're doing something, you're reading. Do it, sis. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Even when you see those brothers in dresses, that's a commandment. You should know that brother's filed. Right. He's defiled. Read. And not hearers only. Right. Because you just don't want to come up here, sis, and just be a hero of this, do you? Are you going to take this back with you and you're going to apply some of it? So tell me what have you learned? Uh-huh. How you doing, sis? Alright, I just I just gotta ask you one thing real quick because um the brother was touching on it a little bit earlier, but I just wanted you to notice something. What's going on with the African American community? He touched on it earlier about the dresses. What's going on with men wearing dresses? You don't you don't know what's going on? 
go to um, Proverbs th uh, 3 and 31. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. So the Bible says do not envy the oppressor. One thing the oppressors, which is the nations you can't find on this sign, they weren't given the commandments. They could wear dresses if they want to. God gave us, the Israelites, the commandments. We must keep them. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. But God is telling us do not envy them. Another way we envy the oppressor. Who is oppressing us today? White people, right? Another way we envy the oppressor is what? We want to look like them. Yes, we do, sis. We want to look like them. For instance, what did you buy in the store? You buy hair? What kind of hair? Just regular human hair? You, you mind taking it out and showing, showing everybody what you bought? Sis, what kind of hair does God have? What kind of hair did God give you? Go back to the, give me Daniel now. Give me Daniel 7. Bring it out. Since you got to understand something, we are God's chosen people. God said, don't envy the other nations. They are killing us. What do you think when you look at the, uh, the beauty supply store? What kind of hair do they promote in our community? Straight hair. What kind of hair does God have? Read what she got. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Bring it out. Out the hell to the thrones were cast down. And the ancient of days did sit. So Daniel saw a vision of the ancient of days. Who was the ancient of days? Who was before the, before days were even established? It's the most high. Daniel had a vision of the most high. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. And he had a garment on. He had clothing on. If you have clothing on, that means you must have a body. You are not just a puff of smoke. Read on. And the hair of his head. Now, this is the Most High God's hair that was on his head. Read. Like the pure wool. Like pure what? Pure wool. Now, was God's hair long and stringy? Did he look like that white man down there? What was God's hair? Like the pure wool. God had hair like you. God had hair like us. Wisdom of Solomon 13.3. Bring it out. So you got to start thinking, why do we, now we're coming to the knowledge of God. We know that we do everything better than the other nations. We know that we are the trendsetters, right? So why do we want to envy the oppressor? Why do we want to look like them? It's because we don't love ourselves. We have gone far away from the Bible. We want to actually look like the same people who's gunning us down. That's what the brother was telling you earlier. We got to stop that. We got to come back to knowing who we are. Keep the commandments. Be proud of what God made us. Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. With those beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be God. We are the gods of this earth. Right. Read on. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Uh -huh. For the first author of beauty hath created them. So God, he knows what's beautiful. If God put on his own head woolly hair and he gave it to his children, what is that saying? That woolly hair is beautiful. That's, right. That's what the Bible is teaching us. Um, Leviticus 13. And 30 now. Now I gotta show you once we decide to go away from that. Hey sis, if you gotta go, I'm telling you, that's not what you wanna do. But it, if you gotta go, then you gotta go. Just listen to this as you walk off. We're trying to save your life. Come back to keeping the commandments. Read that as, as you listen to this as you walk off. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 30. Because you said you're familiar with the Bible like the pastor has been teaching you. But has he ever showed you what God looks like in the Bible? No, he hasn't. We are here to save your life. Right, right. right. Read. Then the priest shall see the plague. So the priest is going to describe a plague. Is a plague a good thing? No, it's not. Let's find out what this plague looks like. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin... Uh -huh. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. If there be in 
a yellow thin hair on a man or woman's head. What is that called today? What do we call yellow hair today? Blonde hair, right? Right, right. right on. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. God says you are unclean. I notice he made a face. God said that is unclean. Right. Remember, God created beauty, right? So what is God saying? What is God saying? What about your natural hair? What did God say your natural hair is? Bring it out. Like wool. God said that is beautiful. That's right. Stop envying the oppressor and do not choose any of their ways. Right. We used to scream black power while hair wrong was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.